In a previous video, we found the component form of a vector when we were given its magnitude and direction. Here we're going to do the reverse. We need to find the magnitude and the direction angle given the component form. So, um, it's not so hard. Remember that the magnitude is synonymous with the length of the vector. So to find the length of this vector 3, 2, I'm going to draw it in standard position with its tail at the origin and 3, 2 would look roughly like this. So that has a length of 3, that's the x component and the y component has a length of 2 and so to find the magnitude, right, the magnitude is the length of that vector, so again this is vector u. Um, this use the Pythagorean theorem. 3 squared plus 2 squared equals the magnitude of u squared. And this left side turns into 13. And so if we square root, we get the magnitude. To get the direction angle, uh, we label theta in our picture, so we want to find that angle there. So how do we find the angle when we know the size of the triangle? Well, one thing to notice is that the tangent of the angle is 2 over 3. So that means that theta equals tan inverse of 2 over 3 which equals, take out the calculator, tan inverse of 2 divided by 3 is 33.69 uh, degrees. What just happened there? 33.69 degrees. <clears throat> so we've got the magnitude and the direction angle. Uh, this is what I'm about to do is not required, but I just want you to notice if we do um, if we now write u as square root of 13 times the cosine of 33.69 degrees, comma square root of 13 times the sine of 33.69 degrees. Put that in the calculator. you get 3 and when we do root 13 sine of 33.69 you get 1.9999 but that's really a 2 it's just that we rounded this angle in any event um, I just wanted to make a connection there between component form and uh, the magnitude and the direction angle how about B? B looks kind of hideous and almost scary, I'm sure. I'm sure some of you are scared. Well, there's one thing I have to mention that um, I didn't mention before, and that is this vector i and j. Um, so the vector u over here is just a, a name for any vector I want to write down on the page. But i and j are actually special vectors, uh, often used in physics. i is the vector 1, 0, and j is the vector 0, 1, okay, always. So i and j have special meanings. Um, so in this problem, if we're trying to find the magnitude and the, the direction angle, I'm just going to first write i as 1, 0. So this is 4 times cosine 30 degrees times 1, 0 plus sine of 30 degrees times 0, 1 and that equals 4 times so you can distribute this cosine of 30 degrees to both the 1 and the 0 here cosine of 30 degrees times 1 is just 
cosine of 30 degrees, and cosine of 30 degrees times 0 is just 0. And I can distribute the sine of 30 to the 0 and the 1. Sine of 30 times 0 is... Um, nope, it's 0, sorry. Erase that. Sine of 0, sine of 30 times 0 is 0. 0, and then sine of 30 times 1 is sine of 30. And now we can add these two vectors here, right? I haven't distributed the 4 yet. That's going to distribute after, right? It's outside of all these parentheses. Cosine of 30 plus 0, right? I can just add those. Gives me uh, cosine of 30 degrees. 0 plus sine of 30 gives me sine of 30 degrees. And now I can distribute the 4 to both of these components, and you get 4 cosine 30 degrees, comma 4 sine 30 degrees. And now it's very clear that because of the form of this, our magnitude is 4. The magnitude of W is equal to 4, and the direction angle is 30 degrees. Just by changing the form to make it look uh, look familiar.